we're continuing to look at the possibility of tropical cyclone bill and maybe a second one uh forming and we're gonna be looking at that today in this update video now if you remember when we were first talking about this it was possible that the system would form in the western caribbean right here that was what the possibility would be and then our storm would then uh, generally move in the Gulf of Mexico and heading towards Florida. That was what we were looking at originally and what the National Hurricane Center had marked here, which still has a 10%. But at this point, that is extremely unlikely. So we're going to be looking at what could be impacted where Louisiana now and Texas are the new uh, impact zone likely. And even Mexico could be seeing some heavy rainfall and wind from this system. So Florida seems to be out of the question, mainly because we have a stronger high pressure than originally anticipated, a little bit farther to the east. So what's that? that's going to be causing storms either way to move a little farther towards Louisiana. So as we look at these models here, this is uh, obviously we're going to be looking at these models in 24 hour time. We still have this high pressure building up here, which is going to really uh, cause storms to not be able to form really well here but what we do end up having is the possibility for a system to form off the coast of north carolina here as it moves up that's going to be a possibility and we're likely to see potentially something come out of that whether it's subtropical or tropical and that's what we really need to look at first and as you can see that does become a subtropical cyclone on this model run at least so that's the first possibility where uh this storm could become tropical and potentially become built. But with that, if that was to form, we wouldn't really have any land concerns. What's a little bit more concerning is the possibility for having a pretty major system no longer in the Western Caribbean, but actually in the Gulf of Mexico. So we're still seeing a lot of moisture and tropical activity in the Eastern and Caribbean. But about 66 hours or so, this is where we get that uh, area of rotation uh, from bringing moisture here into the Gulf of Mexico. And what ends up happening is that we have uh, this cyclone here that forms off the coast of Mexico and uh, kind of uh, giving some circulation off inside the Gulf of Mexico while still keeping itself together here um, in the Eastern Caribbean. And that's really what we get with this storm here. And at this point here, we have a dual storm one right here and another system right here kind of you know this gives a little bit moisture here and that one sends some moisture to the right now what's going to happen with this and that is that we're going to be getting a system from that and as you can see we have another we have a tropical cyclone potentially develop uh, uh forming from that and so that could either be bill or the third name storm, which would have to see if bills from here this would be our third name storm right here but we're still gonna have to see that but what ends up happening is that we have a fairly strong system that forms, goes down to 976, that's a Category 2 hurricane, and makes landfall in Louisiana, pretty close for Laura, made landfall, and uh, I believe it was Zeta last year. So obviously not the best news uh, you can hear, but what's a little bit more concerning with this storm is that it really follows the coast the entire time, which is what's concerning uh, uh, many meteorologists right now and many people making updates on this as it could get really be bringing some major impacts as it really follows the coast the entire time here and so what we're seeing with this is that we could be getting rainfall in the entirety of the coast of texas as well as some heavy rain and give or take a couple of miles we could be seeing the storm moving a little bit farther inland or a little farther out land so if it moves a little bit more inland, we could be seeing impacts on the entirety of the coast, which is really concerning uh, for the storm as it moves towards Louisiana. So that's the first thing. And then we actually have the possibility for a third system, or yeah, fourth system to form here in the Caribbean, which would eventually also potentially <coughs> move in the Gulf of Mexico. But looking at our main primary concern here, which is what we're really looking at here, as we look at the 850 millibar wind uh, me measure, you can really see that those winds aren't necessarily going to to get on the coast too much. But what can be seen is that this could be a fairly disorganized system. With Right here, it's pretty organized, but we're going to have most of the heavy wind on the eastern side of the storm rather than the western side being uh, a lot weaker even uh open right here on that on that frame 
a uh, little disclaimer, there's a chance that our next modern will come out while in making this video, so we'll take a quick look at that if that does happen. So that's the first thing we're really looking at right now. And something else you want to look at is, of course, uh, this is a little moisture. No, that's not the moisture. Uh, of course, you do want to also look at the, the, the humidity, and we're going to be having pretty pretty good humidity, not, not dry air. It's going to be lots of moisture for the system in the Caribbean. I mean, look at that. This is this is the Gulf of Mexico. You've got nothing. You've literally got moisture in the entire area here, this entire way through, really. <coughs> as it heads towards that landfall uh, position. So it's going to have really good conditions the entire uh, way through its uh, development. And then bringing through that next area of moisture for an extra tropical system. Uh, so this is obviously a little concerning. And if we look at the European model, uh, the European model also was showing a system that's no longer the case because we haven't got the new render so let me just uh pull up the old one but the old uh modern run is also showing a storm following a similar track with this so models are going on this because the the gfs it goes a little bit like this right the gfs goes like this now what we're seeing here the european model doesn't go farther out than that but it shows something like this so it looks to be a little closer to the coast and it's likely that it goes something like this with both the GFS and the European model showing this happening. So this is obviously very concerning uh, because you could be getting, you know, some flooding, rainfall, and wind for a majority of the coastline. This is a CMC model. The CMC model is also on board with this, but it really uh, gives the storm a landfall a lot earlier in the Mexico area, which is obviously also very possible. But what, what the CMC does with this storm here, that it does form a storm right here. It does form a storm right here, uh, as you can see. But what it ends up doing is actually, it doesn't form that much, but it really pushes it directly into Mexico. And because of that, it doesn't have the ability to re really become a, a strong tropical system as it just goes like this. Uh, so compared to some other models, this is the CMC model, right? This is the European model so far. And then this is the, the, the GFS model. So the GFS model would be the worst model uh, in, you know, in scenario of what could be happening with this. But we are going that all three systems are showing a storm forming right here. So Site the National Hurricane Center, but it's an area of interest uh, right around here, uh, uh, maybe in a couple of days or two. So that's really likely that that storm kind of goes something like this so that's really what what is going to be happening with this and uh we also have very good conditions i mean ocean wise it's really good conditions you got very warm uh sea surface temperatures uh in the gulf of mexico right now if we go there we have very warm uh sea surface temperatures let me just get that up for you guys as you can see, we have very fairly warm sea surface temperatures, 28, 29 degrees, which is well, well enough for a tropical system to form with this with this system here. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on that, have more updates as we go. Obviously, subscribe to get the latest news with this system.